Good Thursday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, USA. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with a check of your forecast into the rest of the week and into, again, the weekend with some more chances of showers coming up into the area, but not looking at anything in the way of severe weather for the most part. We may be looking at the possibility of more activity as we get into and around next week, but we'll talk about that coming up in just a little bit. Also, winter weather appears to be a little scarce at this time. And again, a little bit of snowflakes, a little bit of sleet over the area as we went into around the early part of this week, but not much of anything else showing up in the course of the next couple of days. So definitely some good news on that. If you've never tuned in here before, welcome to our weather blog. This is your opportunity to ask questions, especially if you live in and around the area of North Mississippi, East Arkansas, or West Tennessee with Memphis, Tennessee right there in the middle of things. Again, time is just past 8 o'clock Central Time in the United States if you're tuning in from outside the continental U.S. Welcome to the show and to give us an idea as to where you are, your city, state, location, or country if you're tuning in again from outside the United States. Give us a weather report if you have anything to show us in the way of temperature, conditions on the winds out there, uh, how much rain or snow you might have picked up, and some of you got a lot more than others did in the course of the last couple of days. So if you've got that, drop those into the comments section. If you can't stick around for the whole thing, that's cool. Forecast scrolling by here in the blue bar down at the bottom portion of your screen, or you can catch up with all the weather information available at WREG.com slash weather. Coming up, more of your weather pictures, a look again at the possibility of some rainfall out there, and how much storms are we talking about for next week. We'll give you a detailed idea on that coming up here in just a little bit. Quick check of the forecast through the rest of the morning. Again, partly cloudy skies expected. Not seeing much of anything out there for the time being in the way of rainfall. So today, you can forget the umbrellas. Probably won't need the windshield wipers out there for right now and shouldn't be seeing, again, too much in the way of problems with rainfall uh, into and around the Mid-South area. So again, so far, just looking at mostly clear at times, partly cloudy at others, back and forth on that theme throughout the rest of the day. The southerly winds are really going to help the Mid-South area, give us, again, the possibility of some warmer conditions out there. Uh, not as warm as, you know, comfortable conditions out there, say like 60s or anything like that, but warmer than what it was yesterday. So again, we may see the possibility of anything going on in the way of much warmer weather. And that's not really going to happen until about Monday, but we'll talk about that coming up in just a bit. Yesterday, a little chilly in the morning. Temperatures were back in the upper 20s on Wednesday, so peak of the week was pretty cold to start off with, but temperatures for highs made it to almost exactly where they should be for this time of the year, back in the lower 50s or so. Sunshine in Oxford, long shadows through the trees of the Grove out there as people make their way to and from the areas on campus in and around Ole Miss. Temperatures back in the upper 20s. 20s. Now, fortunately, not much of anything in the way of wind, so we don't have much of a wind chill out there uh, for right now. Welcome to everybody who's tuning in from around the Mid-South and beyond. Got a few jet contrails mixed in with the partly cloudy skies, but a lot of frost out there as well on the fairways of Windyke Country Club in southeast Memphis. Not too many golfers out just yet, but probably we'll be seeing more on that coming up later on. A little bit farther over toward Olive Branch, Mississippi, mainly clear skies from Squawk 1111's Weather Underground web camera, and temperatures at the Olive Branch Airport about two degrees above freezing at this time. Good travel conditions, dry and partly cloudy around the area of South Haven. Looking from the Baptist DeSoto camera around I-55 and Goodman Road, no problems being seen here. Heavy traffic, again, right at the peak of rush hour. Likewise, seeing a lot of travel in and around the area of I-240 and Poplar from our Hilton East Memphis camera and those partly cloudy skies out there throughout the early portion of the morning out there for right now. And not seeing anything else in the way of problems coming our way at least immediately. We do have a good-sized storm system slamming its way into the West Coast. Not as bad as that one a couple of weeks ago, but if you're traveling anywhere between, say, Salt Lake, San Diego, and Salt Lake City, uh, back towards Seattle or so, you may be seeing some slowdowns taking place there. Matter of fact, some delays around San Francisco International this morning. Our storm system, the last one, passed on out of here. High pressure doing a good job of keeping things relatively quiet and dry as the winds turn back up out of the south at this time. But our next storm system is actually going to be diving in from southern Canada right off the Canadian Rockies, and that's going to be heading in toward the early part of next week. In advance of that, 
very nice conditions. After that, much colder conditions coming on through, and nothing showing up this morning on Storm Tracker 3S radar at this time. Temperatures, the warmest numbers we could find on WeatherNet 3 were back in the mid to upper 30s, just past 8 o'clock. And again, the winds are picking up every once in a while, so there is a bit of a wind chill out there. It's not huge, but it is noticeable, especially if you're standing out waiting for the school bus this morning. So something to think about, especially if you're heading off to work or school pretty soon yourself. Temperatures through mid morning back in the mid 40s going to be kind of slow to warm up today if there's enough cloud cover temperatures will be a little cooler out there and through this afternoon indoor lunch instead of lunch on the patio may not be such a bad idea as we see temperatures back in the lower 50s out there and that'll be the maximum for the day so right about where we were, where we were yesterday not exactly warming up all that much throughout the day today should be again dry through about News Channel 3 first at 4, and then cloud cover starts to kind of wander its way back into the area by about News Channel 3 at 10. Tomorrow morning, past about midnight into around the early morning hours of Friday, we may see some scattered showers taking place, but there's not that much moisture coming in, so we've got limited chances of showers. That's strike number one, and strike number two is this is moving into relatively dry air, so it's going to take a lot of moisture in the mid-levels of the atmosphere to actually overpower this dry air. So right now, I don't think we're seeing, we're, we're definitely not seeing anything in the way of winter weather, but we may see some scattered light showers across the area into tomorrow morning. So a little bit of extra time to get going tomorrow would not be a bad idea. So please keep that in mind. And of course, tune in for daybreak weather and Corey Ventura will have traffic as well into tomorrow to make certain you're on your way with as much information as we can give to you. So for today, no rainfall expected. Again, temperatures pretty close to normal back in the lower to mid 50s. Little cooler into tomorrow. And those chances of showers should only linger until about midday or so, then dry and clearing out by just a little bit toward evening. But clouds will be sticking around again in some form or fashion out there. We might see a stray shower early on Saturday morning, but only a stray shower is expected at this time. Little if anything else as we go into Saturday. So if you have plans for outdoors, later during the morning, afternoon, and evening should be Again, on the clear side where it comes to rain, but those partly cloudy skies will be sticking around out there for a while. Now, chances of rain come back on Sunday, but it looks like it's going to be Sunday afternoon and evening where we really start to pick up that chance of rainfall out there. And then that will linger overnight into and around Monday. So as that new storm system dives out of Canada, energizes the atmosphere, and picks up more moisture from the Gulf, that's where we start to see more intense areas of weather could be, again, the possibility of some stronger thunderstorms out there. We'll talk about the chances of severe weather coming up in just a little bit. After that storm system plows on through here, that's where we go from the 60s and the mid-60s on Monday back to the lower 40s again on Tuesday next. And we see, again, some pretty dry conditions up until next weekend with numbers back in the lower 20s by early on Saturday morning. Now, right now, chances of rain during the day on Friday and Saturday doesn't look like any severe weather, doesn't look like any frozen precipitation out there. Yes, we have rain both days, and yes, the temperature's below freezing Friday into Saturday, but it looks like the chances of rain will be during the day on both Friday and Saturday of next week. So that's the main thing uh, that we're looking at for right now beyond that. All right, taking a look into the extended forecast again by Monday morning. Commute time could be a bit of a snarl as we look for more chances of rainfall to be sticking around. And the best possibility of heavier weather will be coming up as we go into Monday afternoon and trailing off as we get closer toward midnight on Tuesday of next week. Again, that's the best possibility of showers and thunderstorms. As colder air comes in, it'll be very dry, wringing out the atmosphere and getting rid of all that rainfall. So as of right now, Yes, there is the possibility of some thunderstorms coming up next Monday, but right now it's way too early, and the Storm Prediction Center that issues these forecasts does not give us a chance of severe weather right now. There are signs that we are leading up to something a little bit stronger, and if we get some severe weather out there, we could be looking at some supercells, large, well-maintained, powerful thunderstorms, which could bring in the possibility of both damaging winds and the possibility of isolated tornadoes. Now, so far, again, that's way too early to see anything for right now, but we will be watching very carefully uh, to see what goes on 
as this approaches. So keep it tuned to the weather experts, and we'll keep you updated on what we might be seeing out there into the next few days. Pamela Gurley Edmondson, nice view of some stormy clouds in downtown Memphis from the end of November. Thank you very much for that one. Edith Billings Mann, a nice view of sunset clouds a couple of days ago from around the Woodstock area. Thanks to Michael Tollison for a nice sky on fire sunrise from December the 5th, about a week or so ago, into around the area looking across the rooftops and some cloud cover out there, but also some sunshine. And from around the area of Hardeman County, some nice clouds, a little bit thicker, great colors of gray showing up out there. Nice triple shot from Kay McPherson. Thank you very much for that one. If you've got weather pictures, we want to see them and show them, but we can't do either one of them unless you actually send them in. So if you got weather pictures, send them along to us. We'd be glad to feature them on News Channel 3 News when possible and, of course, on our social media pages. So definitely send those in. You can send them all to my social media network pages here. Or if you want to take the so-called old-fashioned route, you can email them to me at austin.onic at wreg.com and be glad to have you along for the ride. If there's something on this weather blog that you'd like to see more of, more satellite pictures, anything like that, more climate information, anything, let me know and we'll see if we can include that as part of your weather blog contemplation here for the early morning hours. Again, getting you updated on what's going on out there. So stick around for more. Follow me on Twitter and all those social media accounts if you can. And of course, don't forget to download our weather blog. For more information on that and all the detailed data, including a look at weather video from the last newscast. That's included on there as well. It's all available at wreg.com slash weather for more information there. Again, for the rest of the day today, a bit on the cool side, but otherwise not bad. And temperatures into tomorrow should be well above freezing. So whatever chances of rain we have Friday morning and Saturday morning are going to be just that just rain chances, and that should be about it. Storms possible by next Monday. We'll be watching that very carefully as we go into the course of the next couple of days. But severe weather at this point in time does not appear to be an issue. If that changes, of course, we will let you know about that coming up in the next several days. So stay tuned for more on that. And, of course, we'll keep you updated as well at wreg.com slash weather for more details on that. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, USA, I'm meteorologist Austin Onick. Thanks to everybody for joining us for this morning. Stick around for more with News Channel 3 live at 9, News Channel 3 at noon, and Tim Simpson has more on your forecast beginning this afternoon on News Channel 3 first at 4. Thanks for joining us this morning.